Hi, I'm Scott Drew, Baylor basketball coach, and you're watching our Out of Bounds plays that we've found to be very beneficial over the years at Baylor University. Maybe you'll find them beneficial as well. Our next segment, I'd like to go over some sideline out of bounds plays in certain situations. We're going to go over five different situations and different things that we look to score for. Our first one is a situation, let's say we're down with five with about 26 seconds to play in the game. We've got a sideline out of bounds. We have our three man taking it out. The first action we want to set is the four coming down about mid lane looking for a pin down for the two. At this point, we want the two to get up to the top of the key area, middle tunnel area. As soon as that happens, the one, at the same point in time when the two is coming and the four are setting their screen, the one is coming and then setting up to come baseline off of five's baseline screen. Looking for two different options to get a three. Again, it's a two possession game. We're down five with 26 seconds. We'd like to take a three if we can or anything we can get to the rim. Again, the two coming up top of the key, middle tunnel area, the one coming off the five's baseline screen, corner. Two options for a quick hit three. Our next sideline out of bounds scenario we have is down four with 30 seconds. Again, we're in a two possession game. What we're looking to do is we're looking to line up free throw line. What we're looking to kind of create here is we're looking for the two to just make a hard cut coming over. See if you can brush anybody off curling. If we can hit the two, hopefully now we're looking to hit the two in stride and allowing him to attack the rim. Our next option is we have the five and the four now pinned down for the one. The one sets up their guy going equal to the screen and now popping back out to the top of the key. Again, our two options. We're down four with 30 seconds to play. It's a two possession game. We want to take the first good look we can get. Whether it's the two brushing off over the top, hitting them in stride and allowing them to either A, shoot the bank shot or get to the rim, or the second option, the one setting himself up, coming off the five and the fours, Double pin down, looking for top of the key three. Our next sideline out of bounds play we'd like to show you is another situation. We're down three, so now we're in a one possession game with 36 seconds to play. Now, obviously down three, we, if we can, we want to take a quick three or a good high percentage three. What we're looking for here, at this point in time, you may have four guards in at this point, which would be your two, your one, maybe your fourth guard. Or your four could be a four who can go ahead, catch and shoot and be able to extend his range a little bit to the three. What we're looking for here is two, setting himself up while the one and the four will set a double up top. So he's setting his man up, coming off the double for the top of the key three. That is our first option. Our second option now will be the five will set a little baseline screen for the four to bring him out to the corner. Again, you may have four guards in right now. Your three, your one, your two, and your four may be your fourth guard. Or you have a four who's more of a face up four point forward who is able to shoot to three. We're down three of 36 seconds. We'd like to get a good clean look at the three, get a high percentage three. Two coming off the double. If we don't have that, then we're gonna go ahead, rub the four off the baseline five screen for the three. Our fourth sideline out of bounds scenario we have is with the ball now in the deep corner. We have the three over here deep corner or anything closer to the deep corner. What we're looking for is we want to get a high percentage shot, whether it's a two or a three in this situation. 
what we're going to do is the one is going to come up and break to the corner. We want to clear him out. The two is now coming to set a back screen on the four and bring him right to the block. If we can, maybe perhaps we can get a direct pass right there to the four. If not, we're going to go screen to screener action where now we're going to go have, have the five set a free throw line screen to bring the two right over here for a three. So now the two options we have in this situation in a deep corner inbounds is we got the two. If we can get the direct pass off the screen, if the four sets himself up off a two screen, or we can toss right over here to the two coming off the fives. So now hopefully we get a high percentage bucket around the rim or a high percentage three coming off screen to screen action. Our next and final sideline out of bounds scenario is we're in the midst of the game and this is a time where we just need a three. Regardless of what the time is, but we, we're looking to get a three point play. What we have here is we have the five and the four. Four will start head to rim, two and the one are starting out. What's going to happen is the two is going to clear out. This is all decoy action and we want him to get as far out of the court play we can. After this, we're going to go ahead. Again, you may have four guards in at this point, or you may have a four man who's a point forward who can stretch the defense and is capable of shooting a three. We want the one to come down right here, pin down on the four man to bring the four right to the top of the key to give him a middle tunnel three, high percentage shot. Once again, what we're looking for is the five's now going to step in, set a baseline screen, and bring the one to the corner. Again, screen to screener action. Regardless of what the time is, this may be 18 minutes, 9 o'clock, whatever, but you feel that you need to get a three in right about now, we're looking at corner three, top of the key three, two is getting completely out of the picture, one's on the pin down to the four, bringing the four man up. Again, this could be a fourth guard, you may be running a four guard offense, or you have a four man who's able to extend the defense by shooting. Then as soon as one clears and sets that screen, brings the four up, coming right off the five's baseline screen, top of the key, corner options for the three. first one we have is what we call, like to call double. The one man will take the ball out of bounds for us. Out of double, what we're looking to do is the five and the four will come up and set a double over the top. What we're looking to first get is the two right off the double right over there, coming to the strong side. Obviously, if we get a quick, easy strike bucket, we want to take it. If we don't, one will still inbound the ball to the two if he doesn't even have a shot. We just want to now inbound the ball and get the second and third options going for our out of bounds. Our next option is, is now the four and the five will come on down and bring the three to the top of the key. Again, if we have a quick shot from the three, we're going to go take it. So now our first option is the two over the double over the top. Our second option is the three man coming off the double, playing more top of the key. Our third and final option is always for the inbounder. Bringing the one off a double from the five and the four to the opposite wing with the three reversing it to the one. In double, we're just looking to run the two, the three, and the one off a series of doubles. Two for the first option, three for the second, and obviously your inbounder is always deadly coming off any type of doubles or any type of screens anytime that you can get your inbounder freed up. The next man to man out of bounds play I like to show you is what we call Bethel. Again, we start in a box set. First, we have the two break to the corner. Obviously, if we can go ahead and we catch the defense, maybe relaxing a little bit, we can get a quick pass into the two for a quick three. Once we can't get that, the four will come over and set an elbow cross screen, bringing the three over here. Again, if we can hit one to two and two to three for a quick three, that's what we want to do. 
If that doesn't happen, then we will go into our screen to screen interaction where the five will come up, back screen the four to bring the four to the rim, and then as soon as the five sets that back screen, he will turn and look to attack the rim. Now putting